Now, if you want to block apps from your kids that you haven't downloaded, but you want to let them watch the apps that you have downloaded, but without a pin, I'm going to show you how. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, lucky you. But if you're a parent that knows my pain, stay tuned. Hello, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you're learning about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, as I said before, I'm going to teach you how to keep your kids away from the apps that you don't want them to see, but let them watch the apps that you do, but you don't have to put a pin each time because that's a headache. Now, I do have to say, this idea didn't come from me. It came from the YouTubers Playwright Parents, so go check out their video and support their channel. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is provide some updates from their video and then also condense it down because they made it a little too long. So with that said, let's get started. You can start with either a Fire TV or a Fire Stick. So let's go. If you're not familiar with this issue, I'm going to show you what it is. First, I'm going to show you that I have parental controls enabled. I'm going to go to an app that I've never downloaded on any of my devices, NBA for Fire TV. As you can see, I can download it and it pops up with a pin. It's working as it should. Now I'm going to go to an app that I've downloaded on other Fire TV or Fire Stick devices, but not this particular one. It says I own it, it's just not on this device. And when I click download, it'll just let me download it. So if I want to block it from my kids, I can't do that. Let me show you how. Now let's go to a web browser and bring up your Amazon account. So first what you wanna do is go to accounts and list. On that drop down menu, select your account, and then go under digital content devices and select your apps. It'll give a list of all your apps. You can separate them by title, purchase date, or developer. Title's fine, it's alphabetical, but if you have a lot, you're going to have to go through quite a few menus. Once there, you're going to want to find the app. My app in particular is going to be YouTube. You want to go to the action drop down menu. There's various options. The one you're looking for is delete this app. You can read over, but basically it's saying if you delete it, you could have some issues, but I've never had any issues, so you're fine. Go ahead and delete. All right, we're all done. Let's go back to the Fire TV or Stick. So we're gonna go into the settings menu and delete the app. My particular app is YouTube because I do not want my children watching YouTube. So go into apps, type in the pin if you have to. Manage install applications and scroll down to your app. Click on it and then click uninstall. Next, we're gonna go into my account. Go back to the main settings menu and go all the way to the end to my account. Go down to sync Amazon content, give it a second and you're good. Now it's syncing with the web browser changes that you've made and you're good to go. Let's go to YouTube and see what happens. Now when I click on YouTube, it should say get free download and now it prompts me for a pin, exactly how it should work. And you can do this for all your devices now. But like I promised, I said I'd show you how to set up parental controls if you don't know how. So let's get to that next. Go back to the settings menu and go to preferences. I have to put in a pin because I have it enabled. If you don't, then you won't have to do this step. First one, parental controls. You wanna say on for parental controls and then on for pin protection purchases. But you wanna scroll down. You do not wanna turn on pin protect app launches because if you turn this on, you will have to put in a pin anytime your child opens an app, even the ones you approve, and that will get annoying. So I hope this helped. And if you like what you saw and wanna support the channel, check out some of my other videos. Take care.